good day to you. My name is Maria Konzielska and this is Poland Daily Culture, the best cultural show in English in Poland. And here with us in the studio is Stan Breckenridge, a star when it comes to jazz and soul and all together in music. Again, thank you very much for showing up. Thank you for having me. Well, Seriously. I would say yes. you didn't fly straight from US to us. <laughs> right, right, right. You are yes. based in Poland yes. already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why you, you become right now a part of Polish cultural jazz, because you perform here, you teach here, mm -hmm. you meet with students here, so yes. people can listen to you and you enrich our culture. Uh, but um, talking about jazz altogether, what is jazz to you? And mm -hmm. can you tell us like what altogether is jazz? Wow, uh, let's see. I will make it brief. Jazz is my way of expressing myself. Oftentimes, people think that jazz, that you must play it a certain way. And there are certain types of jazz, especially if you are reading a right, score, yes? But jazz is what you think it is. There are certain principles, there are certain what we call performance practices when we all play together and then solos and then we come back to together again this is called a b a right we have this freedom that we all know where the a section is and we all know where the b is which is the solos right and so there's this eye contact there's there are these feelings and we are listening to the person that we just heard play a solo so now it's my turn to either sing or play piano solo, and I'm trying to do what he or she just just did as a way to continue their thought, but with my feelings, my emotions that I brought that day, right? Because jazz is not about, okay, I'm going to play the exact same way as I did yesterday, because it's, it's, it's not possible that you and I, at this moment in time, that we will be feeling the exact same way. Well, perhaps we might both feel happy, yes, but we are different, somewhat different. So that's what jazz is. It is how I feel and how my feelings are being expressed through music. the traditions. The traditions music. of yes, music. Yes, yes. That's okay, right. Okay, so it's, it has a lot of, so it has certain patterns as we know, but as, you, as you're saying, mm -hmm. it's also, also a free way of expressing. That's right, it's improvisational. And improvisational is one of the highest forms of art. Because when we think about, for instance, Chopin, yes, we all love him. So, you know, when he composed his first song, it was improvised, right? Because he, you know, he didn't say, okay, I'm gonna play this song called this. No, right? He had to work through it. So he was trying this, he was trying this, and this. Ah, this is now what I'm going to play, right? Well, absolutely. You know, and now we're know. trying, you know, <laughs> yeah. musicians to be perfect, a perfection yeah. of yeah. performance. That is an, that's an art itself, yes. Um, and for, for me, it doesn't work. This is why whenever you see me perform, I never use music. I never use the charts. If I can't play it by memory after I have learned it f from a chart, I don't play it. Every, oh, I see. Very every, interesting Every point. once in a while. Why? Because I need to feel this music. I need to, for people to know, look, I'm not just here to just play notes, you know, and then sing. I feel this, and I want you to feel what I feel at this moment in time. So yeah. to everyone who, for example, has problems with understanding jazz. Yes. And maybe they don't take so much pleasure out of it. Yes, yes, uh, yes. How, what would you recommend? How to, would you teach us to um, to enjoy it more, or and to understand it better? Yes, of course. I would say that m my first uh, answer is to say, if if um, someone asks you, do you um, um, do you like jazz? Don't say no. <laughs> Don't say no, you know, because look, I cannot tell you how many times I've played concerts and people will come up to me, they thought, I had no idea that was jazz. I had so much fun. <laughs> right, yes, because jazz can be fun. Now, of course, every style of music has its own performance 
practices, right, that we should play certain pieces this way, yes? But jazz is such a... It's like saying that, that classical music is just one thing. No, it's not, right? Absolutely. It, you know, you, you know? Uh, and so jazz is this as, as well. So then the first thing is, if you think you know what jazz is, listen to a live gig first. This is the situation that we are now in these, these days, is that we can hear music in our cars, in the bathtub, on the, you, know, you know, and the thing that's lacking, I think, for a lot of people to experience, and that is to do just that, to experience live performances. And this is what I encourage people to do. Don't just listen to it, because you want to be able to see the interaction between each musician. The singer, you know, the saxophone player, you know, the, the pen. This is what is so exciting. And then they tell you, you know, we just played this song together just this afternoon, and people are, are in awe. How is that possible that you can sound that good with practicing for only 30 minutes? Sounds crazy. That's jazz. But yes. what, <laughs> anything what is left for me right now is, of course, to invite all of you to a live performances of jazz, and especially of Stan Breckenridge, who is with us in the studio. And stay for another episode, because we'll continue with the story. <laughs> 